Okay, this is part seven in the series of video seminars. And in part six, we primarily only covered cut and pasting the content, and we weren't able to get to adding the Commission Junction affiliate link. So what I'm going to do is go to my I report. I'm already logged in and leaving off where we left off with this blog post. And here it is. And it says post complete. So what I'm going to do is revisit this blog because it's already live or this blog post. I'm going to click on the view and edit post. And I'm going to click on that post and click on the edit button. So it's going to bring me right into that blog post. And here it is. So now what I need to do is I need to log into my Commission Junction account and get some affiliate links. So I've already been here before. I'm going to quickly log in. And in this case, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and go to the advertiser, which is associated with this blog, which is Henry and June Lingerie. Okay, go ahead and click on the go. It'll bring me up to a new window. Now, in blogs, banners are really not as effective as text links. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a text link. And our statistics show that the majority of traffic is coming from text links and not banner links. So I'm going to go ahead and find a text link and get I find one right here. So I'm going to go over to the side where it says get HTML and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to find the blog or find the uh, website that I'm specifically dealing with here. And right here is the code. So I'm going to highlight code and copy code. It's going to ask me do I want to allow access. So I'll go ahead and right click copy that code. And I'm not going to close out quite yet. I'm just going to go to where I'm publishing this. And now I have some code. So in order to publish HTML code, you need to <clears throat> excuse me, switch over at the bottom, right above where the labels are. You're in the design mode, which is default. You need to click on HTML. And in this case, we want to add this HTML code. So what I'm going to do is just put it at the very end of my blog post. And I'm just going to put it right at there's a uh, bracket, bracket, or actually, why don't I just put it and make it real easy, right above where the break is here. And I'm going to right click and paste. It's going to ask me again, do I want to allow access? And let's see if it worked. So when you go ahead and paste in there, switch over to design, and I'll click yes and scroll down here. And there is shop online for sexy lingerie. Okay, so we have that all ready to go. And if I wanted to add this one more time, I could hit Control C, go up to the top, and maybe put that right up here at the top. Click Enter, and there it is. Now I have it in two locations on my blog post. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Update. And ask me again. And it looks like we're good to go. So I'm going to go quick check my blog post. And there it is, right at the top there, which is nice because in our blog system, we do a couple things. And that's why I wanted to add that link at the very top. Uh, we do have this Read More where we have a little snippet of the blog post and then you click on read more and then it will bring you to the full deal and there top and the bottom of the post is all of the information that we put together so that seemed to work well all right well that covers the basics of adding a text link now if we wanted to do some more advanced things let's go back and click view edit posts and I'm going to go back into that post and click edit. Now, 